This is the second video in my series of making an Ubuntu laptop. So in this video, we're going to unbox a Dell dock connector. So let's get to it. Now, I got this device on eBay for about $25 shipped, and it was listed as brand new. Now, it has a dock in it and also a power cord. So, without any further ado, let's open this thing up and check it out. All right. First thing you see here is the setup guide. Some documentation. I don't think I'll need it, but it's there in case I do. All right, here is the power adapter, and it's the same one that comes with the actual computer. So I could use that one, or I could use this. Now, the benefit of this device, well, let's look at this. This is the other power cord that hooks into the power brick here. And this is the device itself. And this looks like a palm rest of some sort that fits into the computer. But we'll see that in a second. We'll look into that in a second. Let's take a look at the dock itself. So it is brand new, not been touched before, or at least not been used before. Now, on the bottom of the laptop, if you want to check out the unboxing of that laptop, I'll go over on the bottom of it. It shows this port here. So you basically just latch the laptop in here, into this dock. And what this dock allows you to do is use the laptop as a desktop. So up here you have a power button, and that actually allows you to control the computer even if it's closed. Now this, according to the directions, is a laptop undocking request button. So I assume you have to press that to communicate to the computer before you can pull it off of the dock. And then this is the actual eject button. So it actually latches into the dock. It's not something that uh, comes off easily. You actually have to mechanically pull it off. And let's just pull this out here. This is for shipping purposes only here. You have your Dell branding here. It is a plastic construction, and it's a textured matte black plastic. On the back of the device here, you have your Ethernet port, you have your modem port, you have your power port, you have your S-video out if you want to connect this to a television, you have your DVI port, your VGA port, printer port, serial port, you have two ports here, PS2 ports, one for your mouse and one for your keyboard, you have an SPDIF port here, and you have three USB ports there. So this dock increases on the expandability of your laptop. Now, since it has a VGA port and a DVI port here, I don't know if you can hook up two monitors to the device. I guess it all depends on the laptop. And the laptop I have has basically Intel integrated graphics. Now, I heard bad things about the NVIDIA graphics on some of those laptops, that model of laptop that I bought. So I steered clear away from anything but Intel integrated graphics. So we'll see if that works out for me. Now, I don't know if this dock is gonna work with Linux. We're gonna try it out. Um, if not, in a future video, I will actually try it out with Windows loaded on the machine. Now over here, it appears that you have a lock and an unlock button. Now the lock and unlock will allow you to lock the actual docking motion of it. On the left-hand side, you have another USB port and a serial connector and your headphone jack there. Now, this little plastic piece here actually fits on the back here. So it can hide your cords if you're in a situation where you want to hide it or you can just leave it off. Now, this dock, the reason I got this dock is basically because I just wanted to check it out and see what it's all about. I do like the availability of having a laptop and then being able to dock it into a desktop situation 
fairly easily here without actually having to worry about all the cords and everything plugging them in. It's just basically a one motion action here. So that pretty much does it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And again, if you want to help out my channel, give me a thumbs up or favorite this video. So that's it for now. I'll see you guys next time.